Aw, Sullivan is cold and he's that's, sad. That's where you're going to start filming this? <laughs> my moment of weakness? Yeah. We trusted each other, so I'm cold out. Look at all the things we got. Look! We got wire, wire, plug, plug, battery isolator. These things haven't come in yet. So, I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably just gonna have to reuse this. Well, yeah, we bought popsicles. We bought popsicles from the dark. Good thing you bought popsicles because it's cold out and you're being a bitch. Two negatives make a positive douche. So, oh yeah, let's just get that. Let's just make, can we just, let's just put a little fire wood, or like a, uh, a controlled bonfire right here. <laughs> Perfect. Just, hey! <laughs> this is dangerous. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I got my fucking pegboard hooks. Look at this fucking cinematic. Cinematic shots. Oh, shit. We gonna be doing, like, fucking wiring in this bitch, you know? So I got the fucking wire right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're gonna be like, huh. Bitch. Yeah. How can you do this all on your own? And chill out and let me answer the question before you assault me like that. I'm not gonna do it by myself, all right? Because I got my best friend in the world, Peter Paparazzo, here. So, today's steps we're gonna do the seats because I wanna get that done so we could sit in the car. So, we're gonna do that right now and then we'll do the wiring later if we have time. We're gonna try to actually work today, okay? And actually get shit done. I'm wearing a fan belt, it's a serpentine belt. That's what I said. All right, so first step to working on your seats is jack up your car. Let's do that. Faster! That's good. That's it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's all we need to do. And then uh, open your car with your security system. And then... <laughs> so, right now we're gonna reinforce these. You see they're pretty flexible. So we're gonna take... I grinded this down. We're gonna weld some uh, little pieces right here. They'll prevent that from flexing and right here as well here I'm gonna reinforce it I'm gonna add more material here this is all fucked Sully meanwhile is attempting to measure the battery I already measured it it's perfect okay yeah and we're gonna make a little battery box stick that in the trunk and I'm just taking some scrap steel right here I'm gonna cut it off this shit right here <laughs> throw it away and uh, make the sections okay so I got these three pieces cut out got the front or front, rear, and this will be uh, on the floor where there's a shit ton of material missing. I'm gonna weld this in right here. And then the rear piece, which is this one, is gonna go like that under there. And the front piece is gonna go like that. Now we're gonna have a nice stiff seat system. So I'm gonna do that. As you can see, Sully's losing his mind. Because he's making a box. <laughs> he's never made a box before. My first box? And this is what I did. So, I had a, since this is such thin uh, steel, I had to like dab the weld over and over and over again to keep it from melting completely. So that's what I did here, that's why it looks so bad. But this turned out decent, this is all welded in, this is, Completely solid, not a bit of flex. Same thing with this side. As you can see, completely solid, no flex at all now. These are gonna be completely solid, so. Next, what I'm gonna do is drill holes in this. Um, line it up with the holes on the bar and try to get the seats mounted today. Meanwhile, Sully's making the battery box. As you can see, we have. Three pieces stacked together. So we're cutting the last piece right now, so should be good. Okay, so this is now tacked together. It's square and the battery fits. So now Sully's gonna weld it all up together. Then we're gonna weld little tabs on it. Put on the battery tie down. Make a little bar that goes across the battery. And we're gonna have a nice little battery box. And we're gonna put it in the trunk. Meanwhile, I'm going to measure these guys, mount the seats to it, and then we're gonna have holes that are away from the seat 
that we can mount to there. But first I'm gonna have to drill holes in there and weld nuts in so that we could just screw uh, bolts through this into the welded nuts there so we don't have to stick your hands under the seat and try to reach it in there. That'd be a lot easier. We are gonna, you know, gain an inch of height, but we're already pretty low, so I think we'll be fine. This is Sully's first time putting on a respirator. <laughs> so I'm doing it right. Ah! How'd I do it? I don't know. Oh, it's, it smells like a rubber mask in here. Right. I don't really need this, right? I'm good. I'm good? I'm good. You look in pain. I, I am. I feel like Bane. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's not how you do it, by the way. I was bored. Well, did by it. I didn't see the night until it was a man. I did it was nothing to me but the night. What do I do now? Yeah. Wait, no, I still got the black stuff on my face. So I think it's attempt number two. There Dude. we go. Did I do it right? I figured it out. <laughs> All right. You did it. Now the heck do I think. Why? Because it just stuck. Alright. Nobody can understand what you're saying. <laughs> you're right. really can't, can you? This thing is just, this cost a moment. It's hard to breathe. Especially when you're inside the helmet, you're like... <gasps> can you edit it? Can you edit it? And he's talking? Just like put different words in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too lazy to measure these holes. That's all he's welding. Can't look. Um, we're gonna do the skids method of marking holes, which is... Peanut butter. Like a little bit of peanut butter. Yeah. And you put it on your part that you want marked. There we go. A little dab of peanut butter. And then we put it in the car and we have holes marked. It's genius. So I have just completed my picture frame. You're gonna need to yell. I'm gonna yell because I'm excited about it. And you'll notice that the picture frame, out of coincidence, it also perfectly fits a battery! Car battery! Yeah! And it's in there! I'm so pleased with myself. Okay, so now we're doing the more skids, uh, marking holes technique. So, seats go in. Up. Peanut butter. No, look at that! What? It's Did fucking it... perfect! Did I actually do it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it works! <laughs> exactly <laughs> where we need to go! Skippy, you never let us down! Okay. So, as you can see, Sully is grinding down the box. We're gonna weld on the little tab for the battery tie down. I have drilled the hole. I, I verified that the front ones fit and they line up with the seat. So right now, I'm gonna put a bolt through with a nut on the other side, weld the nut to here, to the bar, and then so you can take the nut off, and we'll just have nice little mounting areas so then we can take the seat out easily. Sully has finished welding this up. Oh, did the on that thing. And uh, so now I'm gonna drill the holes here, and then we're gonna figure out a way to put it in the trunk. This is gonna go, I'm guessing just take some bar, steel, and then just attach it. I don't know, we should maybe go here and just weld it in there. Actually, yeah, let's just do that. Just weld it to that. It's a done deal. So yeah, that's the battery. That's the battery box thingy me jig. As you can see, it's beautiful. super fucking fancy. Yeah, and this is not centered, which is all sully. It's, 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 it's artistic centered. design. What are you talking about? It's Dadaism. It's artistic it's Dadaism. design. It's Dadaism, and therefore in Dadaism it's centered, because that type of art says so. So, I would. And that's how you make excuses. You got me through high school. Okay, now we're going to put this in and weld it in, and then we're done with this part. And then we're going to finish the seats, because... Fuck, man, it's been like a month of putting the seats in. And it's pissing me off. I want to get it done. I want to get at least one seat in. I'm sick of it. So, I got two of the front nuts welded in. I'm just going to weld the back ones in. But we'd have to take the, the whole railing thing off the back to, yeah. Battery box is welded in. It's solid in there. I'm just going to throw these guys on. Just finish off the install. We needed the key because... I don't know one.
Where did I put the other oh, rod and nut? Well, the nut's on the floor right there. Oh. Where's the rod? The rod. Did you bring it over here? Yeah. Oh, it's on the table. You got it? Yeah. Oh. That is not your ringtone. That's the battery charger. Why? I don't know. That's the weirdest thing ever! I don't know. I hate it! It's creepy! <laughs> the key is weird. Oh. I don't know why they do that. That means the battery's not <laughs> charging. I'm not going anywhere. That is one with the car. Ow. Yep. That is solid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we can put this on now. This can go go right here. That can go right there. And now, can't start the car, can start the car, can start the car, can start the car. <coughs> and that's our security system. It's perfect. Oh shit, I just realized. Uh. You can get in through the hole in the trunk. <laughs> well, who's gonna know about the hole in the trunk? <laughs> like, come on. Do you think people will know? <laughs> oh wait, they're all of our viewers. <laughs> hey. hey, yeah, don't don't, dare. don't steal our car. That's a bad thing to do. Don't steal a car. Don't do it. Well, no, but, but I'm gonna do like a thin sheet of steel, or I don't know something. <laughs> What's it? A thin sheet of steel? This thing was thin already. <laughs> no, but it's like got bends in it. And oh it's heavy, God. and this will be oh, a thinner. We can, get that. we can get the floor in that we were talking about. It, uh, uh... It's aluminum. Yeah. Right? We can do that. Do you can't weld it in, but... Just slap that bad boy in there. It's good to go. I will figure something out. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, that's on. I don't know, do you wanna... So exciting! Yeah, we're not gonna... Yeah, we're not gonna do the wiring today. I don't have time for that. <sighs> when is Sylvia coming back with the fucking KFC? I'm already Christian Channel. I'm not... Fuck you, okay? Fuck, fuck this court, fuck Jim Leahy, fuck Randy, fuck those two idiot cops right there, fuck suit dummies, as a matter of fact, fuck legal aid, fuck Danny and Terry's buffalo chicken wings, fuck all the old wooden here, fuck the moon, fuck corn on the cob, fuck squirrels, fuck me, fuck you, fuck everything. The situation is done, but the seats aren't done yet, of course, because we're fucking dumb. We can't fucking make seats. So, I've decided to start over with this. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna mount it to the seat, weld the nuts on the back side, outside of the car, so that I have perfect visibility and everything, and then weld it back in the car. I think that's the easiest thing to do, because this is fucking dumb and I can't reach anything. And it should, shouldn't be too hard to cut it back out, because we... Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Fuck them. Fuck the police. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground! Saying that, God, no, we love the police. We support the well, yes, and um, and we love everybody else too. Dude, I'm just fucking hungry. Where's I'm the hungry fucking too. KFC? I'm hungry. I'm Where's hungry. the fucking KFC? Oh, it's your it's your wife. We're waiting for to get the KFC. Sylvia, you're letting us down. Sylvia, we're gonna eat Casper. He's gonna he's saying you know bad things about the police, and then and then he's saying bad things about a lot of things because he doesn't have KFC in him. Feed your man! Dude, you look like you have a black eye. Do it. Because of the it's dirt, just, it's literally dude, only around I, your eye. I'm sitting like, I have the grinder, and it's like right here, it's literally just firing right in my face, so. Oh, man. It's a productive day. God, this is just not a seat. It's just not. What do you Everything mean? hurts sitting in it. There's no... I think we're going to have to buy other we're seats. We're going to have to buy other seats. <laughs> God dang it! Well, that sucks. <laughs> I, it's making me feel self-conscious because my hips don't fit in it. It's not like I don't have that big of hips. I'm a 34. All right, this is ridiculous. I should be able to sit comfortably and confidently in this with 34 ways. You want to go just order energy seats right now, and then we'll sell these on Facebook. Who's gonna buy them? Someone. It's like, these are just. Oh. Actually, oh, we have to sell these. These are fantastic seats, let me tell you what. The lumbar support in these are incredible. 
The amount of legroom you have is just. Look at that. I have infinite legroom using these seats. Caro. Caro. Yep. And, uh, and they're real. Side bolstering is just incredible. 100% authentic. Real Corinthian leather wrapped in more Corinthian leather. Uh, you, you, I'm telling you, you've never had a more comfortable seat in your life. All yours for the low, low price of $600. <laughs> so what were you saying about seats? I just wanted to, to provide emphasis of when I say snug. That <laughs> <laughs> is not using the word lightly. Okay? It's just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm in there. <laughs> Your ass is like poking out the holes. <laughs> so there you go. Oh man, that <laughs> is funny. Sits a 34 waist snug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, these are for sale. Just to add emphasis. <laughs> you will not fly out of them. Ever. You don't even need a seatbelt. <laughs> That's incredible. It's gonna go here somewhere. Something out. That will go here somewhere. Probably here or here because there's holes there already. <laughs> um, so yeah, take this off. Put it on that. Run the power wire to the back of the car. The back of the car. And then we need to ground the engine. There's batteries back there. Do you have to yell like a dumbass yes. every time? Yes. Because it adds emphasis. <laughs> People need to know. Alright, take two. So we're going to use an ankle grinder to cut the ground wire. Yeah, and I f can't see the mark I made. And Marty can't see the mark you made. Let's all laugh together now. Ha, 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 ha. God, oh, that was cringy. Did you find it? Yeah. Oh, darn it. Wow, that smells delicious and not toxic at all. Alright. First ground is done. Attached it to an existing ground. Attached here. Currently off. Let's do the power wire, then we'll do the rest of the grounds on the engine block. I'm feeding it through. Oh, I can see it coming. All right, you're crowning. All right, let me, uh... You see its head? Yeah. You see it? I don't I think it's, you got, you need some help. Hold on. Yeah. Just keep, uh, I'm just gonna keep pushing, okay? I got, you do that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it open a bit. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna form a C. Keep pushing, okay? <laughs> there we go. How's it going? Oh, you're getting there. Uh, Keep going. Uh, oh, we're almost through. Uh, I can't. I'm pushing so hard. <laughs> uh. <laughs> through? It's out. It's out. <laughs> it's gonna go through there. Did you just fart? No, it's the thing. Oh, it's just, it's just continuing its process. Okay, and then... Oh, wait. Let's go through this big hole. I'm not using it anymore. Here. You see my finger? I see your fingy! Did you see my finger? I see your fingy! Yeah, I go around and then to the left. Go around that block thing and then to the left. Alright, can, can you see it? I see it! I can't see it anymore. Eh. You're gonna have to lay down. We're gonna have to plug this hole somehow because we just have a gaping hole here right now. Oh, 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 oh! Just move it. I got it. You got it? There! I'm gonna go to there. Hey! I got it. Oh, wait, we have to, we have to cut it, pull it out, and then vice it. I forgot. Wow. Fucking Jesus, Marty. At least we know the length now. Oh, you suck, bitch. Right. Okay, let's do that. Oh, it's main event time. I'm not gonna start because. Well, that was pessimistic. Never mind. It's making sounds, though. There's 
like charging up. No, it's a fuel pump. Oh! And the gas is kind of empty, so. Saw the car runs great now. There's really no issues except the EFI thing where you got to pull the fuse or relay or whatever to get the ECU started to actually start the car. But there's lots of forum posts about it, so should get it figured out. It shouldn't be too difficult. Here's the whole battery system. So this is going to the alternator, I think. This goes to the fuse box and powers basically everything in the car. Uh, this is the main engine ground. I added this one to the valve cover I don't know maybe to help a little because we're still getting the check engine light that it's missing spark so yeah battery line goes through here in here goes right here comes in through there goes here goes through the birth canal over there comes in here Oops. Was that a fart? I don't know. I can taste it. On my tongue. Okay, I, I'll be honest with you, I did fart. Is that onion? Onion and onion and ketchup. Like I was saying, goes through here. And there's the battery. And comes in here. We're gonna, I ordered these new ones, they just haven't come in yet. So those are gonna be new, not crusty and loose. See that? There's a loose. Look at that. So the car will start even better. And then this is our little isolator thingamajig so that you know we can shut the car off or whatever and that's grounded to an original ground that is used for the taillight so that should be good all that's left now is to swap the transmission and get all the things tidied up so it's gonna be all the maintenance stuff so like this PCV valve is completely shot and just fucking does that so whole valve cover is gonna come off we have new valve cover gaskets already ordered, they're already waiting. Valve cover gaskets, uh, intake gaskets, the EGR is going to get deleted. Um, what else, what else, what else? ABS pump is going to get deleted, so we're going to have a lot of room in the engine bay. It's all going to be clean. I think the clutch master cylinder goes like right here. Transmission swap's probably going to happen in like a month or so, because we got to... Actually, no, maybe earlier. Sully's not coming next weekend. So, and I'm going snowboarding next weekend, so. Um, yeah. Oh, and we gotta fix this whole radiator thing, how it's all shifted, and you can kind of see it's like bent in there. So that's gotta get fixed. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more stuff.